Hey guys, it's Evan Real from Page Six, and I am in La Quinta, California, near Palm Springs, because this beautiful home behind me is being sold by one of your favorite Real Housewives stars. That's right, Gina Kirschenheider from the Real Housewives of Orange County. She's now in the luxury real estate business, and this multi-million dollar mansion is her listing. So I thought I'd come out here today and give you an exclusive look. So let's go inside. Hi. Oh my God! Hi. Come on in. It's so good to see you. Welcome home. Oh, I, I can I be a buyer? Thank you for this private showing, I mean, I did bring my checkbook, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of your multi-million dollar mansion out here in La Quinta, California. Yes. I mean, this is a really big deal, the acceleration of your real estate career. It's it's, it's so fast yeah. and, and furious. How are, how are you it feeling? It is, fast is and furious. Big deal. That's a good way to describe it for sure. Yeah, I mean, I've had um, a lot of success so far. This is by far my biggest listing. Elizabeth Vargas from The Real Housewives of Orange County season 15. Who yeah. Who's one season with this. This, is, I this did. home belongs to this her. This is Elizabeth's home. Yes. There's something so cool about that, you know, that I know, I think historically, we're pretty, we're known for being a little bit yeah. catty and fighting women, <laughs> you know, on Housewives. But I, I think it's important to also show the other side of it. And there are a lot of instances where we do support each other. And so far through, throughout this process, Elizabeth has had nothing but faith in me and she knows that I know what I'm doing and that feels really good. When you have a client that really trusts you to do your job, it makes a huge difference. Okay, so I thought that we would start where everybody loves to start, the yes, kitchen. Yes, it's like the heart of the home. It is the heart of the home, yeah. yes. I love the galley style kitchen, but it's still, because it's so large, it's epic, you know? So I really love that feel of it. Elizabeth did a really beautiful job of finding the balance between keeping some of the original fixtures, but then renovating and upgrading everything that was a little bit outdated. I like that this home is high end and bougie, but it's also super comfortable. Mm, and I yes. think it's kind of hard to find that balance. A lot of really big homes feel sterile. Yes. And I think she did a really good job of making it Cozy. Yeah, there's something warm about this. Home. Yeah, for sure. Now we're gonna funnel out into what is like the heart of the whole house. Um, I love, I mean, first of all, the view, right? The view is everything. That's, That's honestly, so Evan. Nice. It looks I, like a resort, Gina. I, it is a resort. Oh my God, yeah, that view is breathtaking. I mean, a private lake? This community is the Polo Estates, La Quinta Polo Estates. You get your own private entrance to the festivals and you also get um, VIP tickets at discounted rates. So it kind of is, it's nice to have perks, right? Honestly, the, the private entrance alone. So you get your own private entrance to the festivals. It wouldn't be a luxury home without a luxury bar. I like that she kept this like old school yeah. and dark. Mm -hmm. It feels appropriate and yeah. I like that. And look, there's Giselle's tequila bottle. Here is one of our bedrooms. Oh, pretty. Oh my God. And like you said, like so much natural light yeah. everywhere you go. This is just drenched in sunlight, which I love. And it's so white and bright. And I got to say, I love a tile floor. It reminds yeah. me of like Kris Jenner, like a Kardashian home. Like it's a, yeah. So they have a home in the Madison Club, which is literally around the block. Oh my God, okay, yeah. so if you if you buy this home, guys, you're gonna be neighbors oh, with the wow. Kardashians. Come on, Come on yeah, now. Yeah, you're neighbors with the Kardashians. People love La Quinta just as much as Palm Springs. You know, yeah. they're kind of interchangeable and it's just another, another vibe, but an amazing vibe. Right, and like you were mentioning, you know, Justin Bieber rents out here, the Kardashians live across the street from this yeah. property. This really is a retreat for the rich, famous, and powerful. I mean, even some Bravo celebrities live out this way, like Lala and Sheena and Kyle, they all have houses out here. Yeah. Why do you think this is such a popular community for for celebs? Well, I think it's a, it's a premier spot, you know? I mean, it has everything that you could want out of a vacation. It's like you come out, it's a retreat, it's peaceful. You get away from the, 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 you know, the LA hustle and bustle and you come out here and you can really decompress. But then also, it's so close to all the fun things that happen out here. The festival life with Coachella and Stagecoach really, up to the ante for this whole area. And people wanna be there, they wanna be a part of it, and that is La Quinta. Okay, so welcome to our third bedroom. This is the butterfly room. Wait, okay, 
during the medley and the fish room. I'm sorry, you have some competition. This is so beautiful. Yeah. I know, I love I actually love it. So there was a lot of things when I came in that I was like, okay, Elizabeth, we have to edit, we have to edit, we have to edit. I was like, no, I'm all in on the butterfly room. We are not getting rid of that lamp because I love the whole vibe of this room. Okay, so I'm gonna take you now into the primary. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> this is a great space. I mean, you have this whole little sunroom situation happening right here. The beautiful wood beams, like you mentioned, the archways, they are everywhere and anywhere. Yeah. So we just want it to be light and bright. I feel like very tranquil is the vibe for the primary bedroom. Okay, welcome to the office. The, the office? Just a I casual mean, this, office. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I mean, this is such a stunning house and I've loved every room that I've stepped into, but this one might be my favorite so far. There's something very tranquil and peaceful and like this view out here, it's so picturesque. It's so stunning. It looks like a literal postcard. There's something just so authentically La Quinta about this room. And I love the beautiful hardwood floors. Yes. I love all of the wood, honestly. And I think that, that that really shows some of the true character. That's why we also chose in this room, um, like the primary, we were like, we want it to be light and bright and white. This one, I just felt like we needed to, that the wood tells the story of the house. Your whole career in the Bravoverse has somehow been home adjacent. There's always talk of a home, whether it's a casita, whether it's real estate, <laughs> oh whether gosh. it's Andy Cohen talking I about your know. home on Watch What Happens Live. I, I will say, with you know the weeks that have uh, taken place since Andy Cohen made that comment on Watch What Happens Live and you had your mic drop moment <laughs> on Instagram, how, how did it feel to have so much fan support and what point were you trying to make? I can tell you that I was disappointed in him making those comments. I aired it out obviously on Instagram and I woke up at early that morning too. I woke up at like seven in the morning and I had already had a text message in my inbox from Andy apologizing and just saying you were 100% right. I should have never have said that and I'm very sorry. And he said he also like already had apologized publicly on his radio show. And like, that's that's okay. That's who I know Andy to be. You know what I mean? Like, like we have to get out of this place where it's like, oh, you you said one thing wrong, you're done. I hate you or you're canceled. It's like, no, we sometimes we, you know, say things that we don't mean or we don't think through. Um, and I think he had that moment and I called him out for it and he responded really well. You know, and that that's who I know Andy to be. You know, I would have been so shocked if he hadn't have apologized because He's a good person, you know? Right. So I, I thought that was really admirable of him and I wouldn't have expected anything less from him. Well, I love to hear that he apologized, but I also love the fan response you got. It seems like there, I know. There, there is so much support for you, Gina, right now in the current Bravo climate, especially after your show-stopping <laughs> performance at the Real Housewives of Orange County season 17 reunion. How, how does it feel to receive all the love right now? I mean, it feels great. Obviously, you know, it always feels good to get love. I feel like, honestly, I feel like my journey on Housewives, I kind of feel like I'm always doing it for the underdogs. Mm. And I love that though, you know, and I am here for the underdogs and I'm always gonna represent for the underdogs and that's okay. You know, I don't try to be anything that I'm not. And so going through this and then speaking up for myself and feeling like in combination of what happened at the reunion and then shortly after what happened with Andy, I really did feel like, you know what? I'm always gonna defend myself and that's okay. And then feeling the support from everybody out there like, yes, you should defend yourself and good for you. It feel, it does feel good, right? Because we should be able to do that and speak our mind. And when people cross lines and boundaries, it's okay to back them back up beyond the boundary. Well, it was so great catching up. I feel like there is still more home to see though. We have to see the-, the I casita. know, there's two casitas here. Two casitas? Oh my God. I have one when you could have two. Wow, this is so so beautiful. It's very um, like Ibiza. Yes, back very here, Ibiza. Right. Almost a little bit of Mykonos. Also Mykonos. Happening. Yeah, all yeah. of those bougie vacation spots I've never been to. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Same. I'm like talking about yeah, Mykonos. Right? Like I've yeah. been there. I've never totally. been there. Totally. <laughs> it's so peaceful out here, especially the sun sets and sunrises on uh, this property out of this are. World. 
out of this world, incredible. I mean, it's a it's a $10 million sunrise. I, I just can't even imagine like waking up to the butterfly land. Yes! Coming out here for the sunrise. Like, it, it just doesn't get better, Gina. It doesn't, except it does. It opens up down here to the tennis court. Oh my God, beautiful. Okay, so I don't know if you are an OG Roni fan, but yeah. this is giving me flashbacks to Jill Zarin and Ramona Singer's very contentious oh, tennis Oh yeah, match. yeah. Okay, so now I have to take you, it really wouldn't be a Gina tour without taking you to the casita. Welcome to the casita. Wait, this is so nice. I'm obsessed with the windows I know. and the high ceilings. Yeah, I know, it's beautiful. And I love the wood. She kept that, that was original, so she kept that. She blended the, cause it's more charming in here, you know, with the wood vibe, but she also threaded through the modern upgrades that she did in the main house. You know who would love this situation is Meredith Marks. I don't know if you've caught the latest season of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, but she fought with someone, with Whitney Rose, because she called Meredith's bathtub dirty. She's like, not my husband, not my kids, and not my bathtub. I've loved you stopping by. It's always good to see you, my friend. Uh, always great to see you. I'm sad that the tour is over. I was really growing attached to the house. Good luck, thank you so much. So good to have you here in La Quinta. Stay cool out there, okay? I'll, I'll try. You in the market for a, a leopard? I, I could probably afford this leopard. How how about he's yours? How about we oh, give You want oh to take the leopard on your way Gina, out. thank you. I know, because oh. everybody should leave with the leopard. Oh my god, yes. Okay, bye guys, bye Gina, thank La Quinta you. Leopard. Yeah, that's her name, La Quinta. <laughs> I love that. Bye guys. <laughs>